Hello, and welcome to my fourth and final in a series of Corel tutorials. And today I'd like to show you a tool related to Corel, which is called to Corel Draw, I mean, which is called Corel Connect. So I'm just going to run this tool using this link here in the application. And while it loads, I can tell you that what Corel Connect does, it lets me pull in content from uh, my computer or from other places on the internet so that I could use it on my projects. So here, it just finished loading. So let me just very quickly resize it so we can see the whole thing. OK, so a quick overview of Curl Connect. Um, basically, I have a number of sources or libraries here. Clicking any of them brings me to this list of uh, possible sources. As you can see, I have Flickr, Fotolia, iStock, and uh, it also lets me connect to the various clip art libraries, including with uh, the current Corel version and with past versions, which I haven't done, but I can do that. And Connect is basically a search engine. So to connect with each of these uh, websites, I need to read and agree to the terms of use. And um, I can specify how many search results I'd like to get. And I can also search my computer locally. So I can just pick and choose any of the folders I'd like to include. Right now, I don't want to include any, but I can uh, check these. And of course, I can also drill deeper into my system and select any folder arbitrarily. And at the bottom, we can see the uh, tray, which currently shows results of uh, previous searches I've done, like a previous search, actually. But now let's see how the search works for, uh, I don't know, cat. Let's say I, I'd like to see images of cats. So I'm just going to search for cat very quickly. Now, the Flickr results tend to be iffy. They're not all spot on. But I've noticed that the, I mean, I do have quite a few cats here that I could use. And let's say I'd like to use this one or maybe this image. And then I scroll down. And the Fotolia photos are usually much more accurate. So wow, this tiger is very nice. I might want to use that. And oh, here's a vector. That's great. By the way, uh, you can filter by content type here up top. So let's say I don't want any fonts. So I disable that and I get all the results without any fonts. And last but not least, iStock. So let me just grab this palette here because it's nicely vectorized and maybe this one too. And I'd like to delete these because I don't need them. OK, so now I have a whole bunch of images that I can uh, that I found either locally or online. And now I want to get back to my uh, Corel Draw project and use them. So I can minimize this. And I'm back in Corel Draw. And then I go to Windows, Dockers, Tray. And this is it. This is exactly the same tray that I had in the uh, in Corel Connect. And I didn't have to save it or load it or anything like that. It's just there and it works, which is very nice. And whenever I mouse over each image, I get a tooltip with a slightly bigger version of it. Now, of course, uh, this content is copyrighted and Corel went through quite some um, work to make sure that rights are properly kept and enforced, etc. So let's say I were to use this image. I can simply drag it into my project and drop it here. And then I get a comp restrictions dialog, which lets me know that the image may be subjected to copyright or user restrictions and leads me to an exact link uh, for the image itself. So I can check rights or clear the use or buy it etc. So it's very, very clear that this image is not authorized for use, but I can still uh, put it into my project so I can check the uh, composition, etc. And as you can see, when I simply mouse over the image, I get a little tooltip here, which again says this image may be subject to copyright or usage restrictions. And this is, of course, the low res image. But anyway, this is a very handy tool because it lets me pull the images from various sources directly into my project. And even if they're lower as copies, I can compose my project and create the artwork I want. And then once I'm sure that, that is what I want, I can go and buy those images and swap them for the full resolution images. So uh, that's what Corel Connect does. And that's a new feature in Corel Draw X5.
Thank you for watching.